हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स In today's video, we will be doing a ML system design. Basically, we will be taking a business problem and converting it into a, a ML system design problem. When you work for an industry, you need to convert a business problem into ML design problem and then solve it with all the steps in place. Like, what is the business metric? What's the north star? And what will be your ML architecture diagram? And what will be your ML models? And how you will check the correctness of ML models? All those things we will discuss. and as well as this will be super helpful for you in interviews when you go for a ml design round so with that let's get started in this video we will be designing a fraud detection system for an e-commerce type website let's say amazon so let's get started the problem statement is to develop a fraud detection system to identify fraud on an e-commerce platform like amazon so how you will take it is first of all you will think of all the frauds which are there in the platform if you are working for a company you can discuss it with business product and within your team and if it's a ml system design problem you can come up with different frauds and discuss the scenarios with uh, your interviewers so when you discuss it and when you think about it these are the type of frauds that can come up one is the first one is buyer side frauds which happens from the consumer side the what the buyer can do they can do return fraud buyer purchases items and return them with different or damaged items inside the package which is a return fraud in refund fraud what how is it different from return fraud is in refund fraud the buyer may claim that item was not received or was damaged to obtain a refund while keeping the item so in return frauds they were returning it with a damage or different items in refund fraud they take the refund but they don't uh, give back the items and they keep uh, end up keeping the item there can also be seller side frauds the first one being counterfeit goods where a seller can uh, sell fake copies of genuine branded items counterfeit goods are the ones uh, that are created to imitate the genuine items or uh, uh, with an intent to deceive the customer and uh, the customer can buy it thinking those are authentic but in reality those are fake and this can include fake designer clothing and other branded products it's a type of fraud from seller side other is bad quality products seller is trying to sell products of inferior quality not as described or not suitable for use which can negatively impact both the platform's image as well as customer satisfaction the other type of fraud that seller can do is review manipulation where they can post fake positive reviews about their own product or they can do negative reviews for the competitor's product again there can be fake listings some new sellers can come as fake sellers they can create fake product listing to scam customer into paying for non existential products so these are the buyer side and seller side frauds there can also be attack related frauds for example account takeover a hacker can hack into someone's uh, amazon account and get an unauthorized access of legitimate buyer's account to make fraudulent purchases what they can do they can use uh, the uh, they can, they can use hacking techniques to hack into uh, genuine customer's account and use their wallet balance use their saved credit cards and so on to make fraudulent purchases there can also be bot attacks in bot attacks uh, what uh, these bots do is there there are automated scripts but they try to exploit vulnerabilities in the platform slow down the system with a large number of clicks request uh, to crawl data causing various issues such as systems performance degradation data breaches and so on and overall negative user experience so with this bot attacks they can try to uh, make the overall platform down with too many requests and also there can be data breaches and so on so there can also be logistic sites frauds that is once the item is out for delivery there can be logistic sites fraud for example delivery agent fraud what delivery agent can do is they can manipulate the shipping details to make it appear that the item was delivered when it was actually not not and creating fake shipping labels falsely claiming that delivery was attempted but actually not doing the delivery attempt or actually delivering also there can be theft of product from package let's say the package has three items they can uh, uh, they can have one uh, item out of the package uh, and so on so there can be theft of products from the packages so these are the type of frauds that can be there in the uh, e-commerce type platform like amazon one is buyer side fraud other is seller side fraud there can be attack related frauds and also there can be logistic side frauds once you have discussed this with interviewer or in your company let's say uh, 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 the final consensus is that we will 
prioritize the return fraud and counterfeit goods at first and we want to uh, develop solutions ml system around return frauds and counterfeit goods so uh, that has been decided in the last video we looked at buyer side fraud and we looked at a specific type of fraud which was returns fraud done by the buyer in this video we will be looking at seller side fraud and we will be looking at one particular fraud of counterfeit goods sellers trying to sell fake copies of genuine products so uh, how we will transform that business problem into an ml system design problem we will look into this video and to do that we will follow the same approach we will first understand have a clear understanding of what the problem statement is how business wants to solve it how what are business goals and what action item business wants to take what will be the north star mat metric of uh, this system what we want to improve upon what is the scale of the problem so that we know what kind of ml system uh, ml approach to come up with what kind of architecture to come up with to support that scale and uh, if we have some ml models within our architecture within our ml uh, system design within our ml architecture what are those ml models what are the entities and entity features what is the model of choice what are the ml metrics we will use for comparing different models and how we will finally take it to an online experimentation stage and if the experimentation is successful if the results are statistically significant we can scale it to uh, the as a platform feature so let's look into that the problem statement is sellers tries to sell fake copies of genuine branded items counterfeit goods are products that are made to imitate genuine items with an intent to deceive customer into believing these are authentic for example this is a real adidas shoe while this is a fake adidas shoe consumer electronics fashion and accessories beauty and personal care and apparels are the most susceptible to counterfeit goods due to high demand high value and ease of replication and how business wants to solve this how business wants to action against it business wants to create a combination of automated and manual review to remove counterfeit goods depending on the intensity of risk and ban or warn seller as appropriate so basically they want to reduce the counterfeit goods and they want to have a automated system as well as a manual system in place uh, depending on the intensity of counterfeit risk and ban or warn sellers uh, as appropriate so what's the north star to solve this business problem the north star is definitely reduction in counterfeit goods on the platform that is uh, the ml component the ml system design should be able to better the accuracy of counterfeit detection and what should be within check upload rate of genuine products should remain constant it should not happen that uh, we have reduced the counterfeit goods but some of the good products also got affected as a result of that genuine products uh, upload rate has uh, taken a hit many of the genuine products are also getting tagged as gen uh, counterfeit product that should not happen so upload rate of genuine products should remain constant and seller churn rate should remain constant only the bad sellers or sellers who were trying to deceive user with counterfeit products should reduce but otherwise the seller churn rate should remain constant it should not increase due to any side effects that is maybe banning a uh, genuine seller the churn rate can reduce so that should not happen sir seller churn rate should remain in check it should remain constant it should not increase at all so these are the north star metric reduction in counterfeit goods of the platform check matrix upload rate of genuine products to remain constant and seller churn rate to remain constant uh, next understand the scale of the problem in the returns fraud we have seen that the scale of the problem was huge so we came up with a real time system in this case the counterfeit risk score model has to be generated once or twice for all products depending on the total activity of the products like sales return customer ratings reviews image and text attributes and other similarities it is not a personalized model that is the counterfeit risk score is of product but it's not uh, specific to a buyer it's just of the product and assuming there are 60 million products which means around 6 crore project products on the platform counterfeit risk score model has to just run twice a day it can run on an offline or batch setting we don't need to have a real time system for it hence there is no need for high throughput or latency requirement as such it can be a batch mode system which runs twice a day and uh, depending on the intensity of risk score uh, we can update our product list that is we can the very high risk ones we can uh, directly remove and for the medium to high risk we can give for manual review so this is the overall architecture approach we have all the product lists around 60 million products in the platform the risk score module will run once or twice a day for very high risk products those will be automatically removed and for high to medium risk very high risk automatically removed and high to medium risk goes for manual review 
एंड फाइनली बोथ द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम मैनुअल रिव्यू वट हेज कम आउट वेदर इट्स ए काउंटर फिट और नॉट एंड ऑल्सो द वेरी हाई वन विच वेर ऑटोमेटिकली रिमूव बिकॉज ऑफ काउंटर फिट रिस्क बोथ विल फ्लो बैक टू द काउंटर रिस्क कोर मॉड्यूल फॉर रिट्रेनिंग एंड फाइन ट्यूनिंग ऑफ द मॉडल टू मेक द मॉडल बेटर एंड बेटर विथ टाइम सो वंस वी नो दिस इज द सिस्टम आर्किटेक्चर लेट्स डिसाइड ऑन द लेबल्स दैट ओके वट इज काउंटर फिट एंड वट इज नॉट हाउ for that ml model how the labels will be generated so counterfeit goods uh, fraud labels 1 and 0 for the training process are generated as follows product marked as counterfeit goods post manual review can go as label 1 that okay from manual review it has come this is a counterfeit uh, fraud so that can go come go as uh, label 1 and products marked as non counterfeit goods post manual review can go as label 0 and also in addition to that some randomly chosen products can also go as label 0 and while training the model we can do the uh, sampling balancing for 1 and 0 class to train the model in a appropriate manner and uh, for fast training of model we can do the required sampling as such but uh, this is how the labels will be created those marked as counterfeit by the manual review will go as one and those which are marked non counterfeit genuine uh, products along with some randomly chosen products can go as label 0 once now we know the target variable but what are the features that will explain the target variable so what will be the entities and what will be the entity features to build an effective machine learning model for detecting counterfeit products is essential to identify the relevant entities and their entity features so entity will be seller let's say some seller has already done lot of counterfeits in past they will again be in high risk of counterfeit fraud right and also if seller is not so good rated they can also be at risk of counterfeit uh, uh, fraud so seller will be an entity product will be an entity next is product let's say product has lot of reviews like it is a counterfeit it's a fake then it may be a counterfeit product so we will look at product features as well also product category we know that some product categories are easy to replicate because of ease of replication and also the high value of those categories so product category based features also we will have and also context features let's say during some special sales we know that counterfeit goods increases in the platform so we can will also have contextual features so let's do a deep dive of uh, all the uh, entity features we have seen a high level idea what are the entities which are seller product product category and context now the entity features will be within product we can have product id which can go as an embedding we can have category of the product electronic apparel so and so on brand name of the product listed price of the product percentage of frequency of discounts offered uh it can happen for some very uh, fake product which of a very valuable brand there is high discount so discount can be an important identifier similarly return rate refund rate counterfeit return rate so we can look uh, in the comment section when the uh, return request is placed is it placed with a risk of counterfeit or fakeness identified in the product then those can be labeled as counterfeit returns and we can look at the counterfeit return ratio the ratio of counterfeit returns to total returns expressed as a percentage image quality can be another feature which is resolution brightness clarity of image image similarity with counterfeit goods let's say some of the sellers were banned due to counterfeit goods they may try to come back to the platform so we can do a image similarity with the banned counterfeit goods image similarity with counterfeit goods similarly textual similarity with counterfeit goods brand similarity let's say the degree of similarity of a brand name with a popular uh, name uh, non brands uh, can be a uh, can be a counterfeit uh, fraud as well the degree of similarity between the brand and the popular non brands similarly image celebrity presence a flag indicating whether a celebrity is present in the product image or not based on static data set of celebrities they can uh, use celebrity image to deceive users which may they, which they may not be authorized to use similarly counterfeit sentiment analysis we can do the customer review analysis to see whether the users have uh, shown a risk of fakeness or counterfeit possibility with the product or not so we can also have features around sentiment analysis of the reviews around counterfeit risk these are the product features we can also have seller as an entity and seller features will be uh seller id which is which can go as an embedding seller reputation seller rating and review seller history duration of seller's activity on the platform number of listing total number of products listing by the seller return rate percentage of product returned uh, violation history let's say past incident of policy violation or counterfeit listings by the seller if a seller is already done that in past he may do in future also product category entity can also be uh, important feature let's say as we said some categories are at high risk or high susceptibility of uh, counterfeit uh, or duplication so category demand measure of demand of the product high medium low category value 
एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ द प्राइस रेंज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स इन द कैटेगरी काउंटरफिट ससेप्टेबिलिटी लेवल ऑफ ससेप्टेबिलिटी टू काउंटरफिट एग्जांपल हाई मीडियम लो रेप्लिकेशन इज ईज ऑफ रेप्लिकेटिंग प्रोडक्ट इन दिस कैटेगरी ईजी मॉडरेट डिफिकल्ट एवरेज रिटर्न रेट एवरेज रिफंड रेट काउंटरफिट इंसिडेंट रेट सम कैटेगरीज में हैव हाई काउंटरफिट इंसिडेंट रेट राइट Similarly, customer rating, average customer rating for products in this category, and also there can be context-based features like seasonal trend, impact of seasonal trend on sales and returns. Counterfeit goods may increase during uh, sales and so on. So this kind of seasonal flex will also help better explain the uh, target variable, which is whether the product is counterfeit or not, whether it's a fake or not. And uh, the choice of model we can use. a simple model like logistic regression for a baseline model then we can go towards more sophisticated random forest and gradient boosting based tree based models which are more uh, which are more sophisticated have more power they can identify complex interaction between fe features and also handle non linear relationship and once we have uh, tried this model we can also try uh, even so more sophisticated models like neural network which are really good with embedding type features which are good with high amount of data and they are good with sequential patterns in the data and so on out of all these models which one is performing well we can uh, check in the validation set looking at prison recall f1 score or auc roc or or even prison recall curve so this matrix will help us identify the winners and once the winner is identified we can online experiment it by doing an ab testing Uh, so overall the model designing process looks like this we, we do collect data we do data processing we identify the entities and entity features which is feature engineering we train the model we evaluate on ml matrix we deploy it and if the model is performing well and it's beating the uh, existing methodology in place then we scale it and once it's scaled we continuously monitor it if there is any feature drift or target variable drift or uh there is a uh, the accuracy has reduced with time so that we can co continuously correct it with retraining and adding more features and so on so observability ml ops is also an important uh, criteria in the ml uh, model design cycle uh touching upon the online experimentation once we have let's say uh two three good models that are to be tested with the existing approach what we can do we can have control as the existing methodology and in the treatment we can have our models and uh, we can ab do an ab experimentation uh, and see that how good the model is performing uh, compared to the existing methodology and to do a successful online experimentation we need to know some of the terminologies like null hypothesis which is assuming there is no effect due to the treatment or your new uh, methodology alternative hypothesis uh, is there is a effect due to your a treatment significance level the threshold of determining whether the results are statistically significant or not p value p value should be lesser than the significance level to in, which will indicate the statistical significance then type 1 error type 2 error and whether the statistical significance is reached or not so these are some of the concepts of online experiment sir so with that we have completed a complete ml system design of fraud detection system for a amazon type uh, e-commerce website we looked at buyer side fraud seller side fraud we looked at uh, uh, attack based fraud and logistics based fraud we took two of the frauds one is return fraud and counterfeit fraud and design systems around it you can take the other type of frauds and also design systems around it uh, using this uh, uh, a way that is and have a clear understanding of problem statement what is the scale of the problem not start of the problem and then how you will design the ml system around it depending on the scale of the problem what will be your ml models which are the main entities and what will be the entity features how you will check which uh, which model is performing the best on your ml metric evaluation test and then how you will continuously test for any drift or uh, decrease in the accuracy with time and how you will online experiment it uh, with statistical significance before scaling it we will be doing few more ml system designs hope you like the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye